Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your Toshiba Satellite i755 computer running Windows 10. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu, just by left-clicking on the Start button one time here. And now over on the left side, you want to left-click on the gear icon wherever you hover over it. It says Settings. So just left-click on that again one time. Now on this page, you want to scroll down to get to the Update and Security tile. And just left-click on that one time. Now on the left side, you want to left-click on Recovery. And now on the right side, if we direct our attention over here, it says if your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. It says you choose to keep your personal files or remove them, and then reinstalls Windows. Left-click on Get Started. So the first prompt will be if you want to keep your files or remove everything. Even if you select keep your files, please note it says removes apps and settings but keeps your personal files. So it's a little bit subjective and I would highly suggest that you create a backup of any important files or documents to an external media source like a USB flash drive or DVD, CD, whatever have you. And I would suggest doing that with either option to be honest, but I think it should be more stated for the options to keep my files because remove everything will remove all of your stuff all of your personal files apps and settings and that's going to be what we're going to be doing in this tutorial today so that's the option I'm going to select here to move things along and we are going to have a couple more prompts we're going to have to address so just be patient So it's going to then prompt you if you want to clean the drives too. First option, just remove your files, which is quicker but less secure. If you're going to be keeping your computer and keep using it, I'd recommend selecting the first option. Second option, which will remove your files and clean the drive. So if you're going to be donating it or giving it to somebody else, I would suggest the second option. But for most people, just removing your files will suffice. So that's what I'm going to select. And we will have one final prompt that we're going to have to confirm that resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. All apps and programs, as well as any changes made to settings, this will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on the reset button right here to commence this process. It will take some time, so again, please be patient.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Hello everyone, I'm back. So our Toshiba Satellite 755 computer has been restored back to a factory state. So feel free to put any programs back on your computer this time, and you should hopefully be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.